Um, thank you, thank you for coming. My name is uh, François Alio. I'm uh, the director and uh, designer of uh, uh, Nerial, uh, and uh, I worked on uh, this game, uh, which was out in uh, August uh, 2016. And um, my talk is uh, from uh, Rings to uh, uh, Rings uh, Game of Thrones, so, so Game of Thrones, which we released uh, f f two months ago. About um, so uh, I'm gonna play a trailer. Uh, here we go. If we could have sound, that would be great. That's the trailer for our, our last game uh, in the series, uh, Rings Game of Thrones. Uh, just uh, um, if you don't know uh, Rings, mm -hmm. this, is, this is how it looks. So, uh, Sorry? Uh, yeah, okay. So uh, this is how it looks. You um, you play by swiping left or right, okay, to make decisions a bit like Tinder. Um, but um, with um, you play a king or a queen. So that's the first one on the left uh, ranks where you play a king. The second one you play the king, a uh, queen, and uh, the third one you play uh, one of the characters of uh, Game of Thrones. Okay. Um, so yeah, just just a few a few uh, demo. And uh, this is this is actually how I introduced the game to uh, to my publisher Devolver. I say uh, I said uh, like three years ago. Uh, this is this is a mix of Tinder and Game of Thrones. Uh, I didn't expect that they actually uh, took my word for it and uh, just asked to make a game. Um, so. Um, Beyond beyond um, beyond this this series, uh, wh what I'm going to talk about is um, um, is, uh, is the beyond this journey from Reigns to Game of Thrones, um, which is basically the most exciting IP uh, in the world uh, right now. I think um, what I'm going to talk about is uh, is how uh, you can maybe sell premium games. Um, consistently up stores and uh, and such, um, so see, see just, which is very similar to being able to make a fire on a remote island without any means uh, consistently. Like every time you try, it actually makes fire. So that's a bit uh, risky, but um, it sort of worked for us. So I'm gonna try to go through uh, through our process and uh, and a few uh, a few takeout from uh, from this journey. So um, my uh, my preamble is just uh, a, a quick um, um, a quick view of the mobile market seen from the point of view of uh, an indie game developers uh, because I think it's important to sort of understand how we see this market. Uh, so first thought when I started making video games was basically uh, um, this one. So that's this is. A, this is what you imagine when you're an indie who starts uh, making your games on the, on the App Store. Uh, you got this beautiful shop store, um, and uh, and you got uh, you got the, uh, your game uh, in the front uh, uh, front window, and uh, people come and they buy your game, and that's it. So, you know, this classic classic uh, um, classic bargain. Um, but um, but that was in truth for the first week on the App Store for us. Like, we actually did uh, this, this incredible run of, uh, of being featured, and so that's the old feature, uh, feature system. So we, 2016, that was the end of the old App Store. So when your game was featured on the App Store, you had a week of, uh, of crazy sales, to be honest. Um, and that's, that's what you expect when you start, but the reality is uh, it's, it's more like a, like a, um, like a mall, if you want. So the app store is more like like a big uh, meta store, uh, like a, a mall. So you enter, and then you got a lot of smaller stores, 
which are the actual games of Fortnite, Minecraft, something, something I.O. These are stores inside the big mall, if you want. And you, uh, the, the guy who sells uh, indie games, you're, you're premium indie games, you're, you're like, uh, I don't know, the charity at the entrance of the mall or, or they will sell a hipster coffee, if you want, with this cart. And, uh, that, that's a bit what's happening. Uh, so that was the next, uh, the next three years for, for Reigns. Um, so, in this, in this, um, in this um, sort of uh, setting, how do you how do you make a living with with games like that? How do you uh, do you expand and how do you create uh, your your um, uh, value um, while limiting the risk you're taking, of course. Uh, so. <coughs> So that's uh, the first uh, first thing. Um, it's um, uh, so a few reasons. So the first reason is uh, is really uh, for me is uh, has been entering a label, and that label is a uh, devolver. So if you don't know devolver, devolver is a, um, a publisher. It's called. Um, um, it's probably be better described as some sort of post-punk uh, uh, desktop publisher, not mobile initially. Uh, if you only know mobile games, you probably not have heard of them, but uh, but they're pretty popular on PC uh, and. They they bring this, uh, this uh, um, what they got, um, which is very unique, um, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a label. So, uh, they, they create uh, the, sort of, uh, um, the sort of thing you, you can see in, uh, in music, like the, uh, 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 post, uh, uh, some sort of uh, uh, rock label that, that really uh, uh, makes, um, um, the, as a consistent lineup of games, that always push further the, 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 uh, the boundaries of what's uh, possible and acceptable from, from Hotline Miami to uh, Picunico is out uh, ne tomorrow, I think. So they, they, they really define a, a, um, not, not just like, like a set of games uh, that are all potentially uh, um, 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 Will make money, but they also have uh, um, this this uh, this this consistency in the in the game they pick and they uh, they promote, which doesn't necessarily uh, is linked. It's not necessarily linked to, uh, to to the money they will make. Um, so um, another thing that uh, this label uh, developer brought brought to me is uh, uh, the ability to do cross platform nicely. Uh, so we had the, the precedent of uh, Downwell, which is a game that was released there on every platform, uh, both uh, Google Play, App Store, Steam, uh, every platform on the same day, the same price. Uh, and, and it actually worked. Like It was not a port from mobile to PC or a port from PC to mobile. So uh, they, they made um, something that was both uh, um, successful on PC and on, uh, on mobile. Uh, that that was something that was really interested in, and uh, indeed uh, nowadays uh, for, for rank sales, 20% uh, of us are, are on uh, Steam. So it's not just a mobile game; it's, uh, it's because it was also available on Steam that uh, it made a, um, it made a breakthrough. Um, so yeah, I can I can answer more questions on that la later. Um, uh, the, uh, the last thing that this the la label brought to me is uh, indeed the deal with uh, HBO. So. Um, Two years ago, we started talking with uh, with HBO about uh, uh, about uh, a possible Rings game, uh, which I started pitching to them uh, through through uh, through Devolver, and thus thus uh, also uh, a lot uh, thanks to to Devolver, they they really made uh, this connection, um, and um, and we really worked uh, from from there. Um, <coughs> for 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 HBO. Um, 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 uh, I'm not really going to talk about uh, the, the relationship, but I'm going to give you a few hints of how it worked. Um, um, HBO is um, is very interested in uh, in games like ours, ours because they they bring uh, something a bit bit uh, uh, that, that brings value to the to the IP uh, without um, uh, sounding like money grab and and stuff like that. So we um, we 
uh, actually the, the showrunner of, uh, of the, the, the show, Game of Thrones, were uh, players of ranks and they, uh, they, they advised the license uh, team to, to work with us. So uh, this is how it started and this, is, this gave us uh, a very strong position. And uh, uh, throughout the whole process, uh, they actually accepted a lot of things uh, that, that I did uh, with their <laughs> amazing IP uh, that, that probably would not have been possible otherwise. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do go to the next point. The, the su second point I wanted to make is um, uh, the consistency. And now, uh, as an indie, a, a great way to limit limit your risk is to uh, to f to work on a, on a developing a, a brand and an IP. So um, this these three games, the Rings, the Rings of Majesty, and Rings Game of Thrones, uh, current, current space that creates its own brand uh, in a way. So. Um, the first thing uh, we, we did is uh, we stayed indie. So throughout the whole, the whole process, through the, each of game, we kept the same uh, similar set. Uh, a rings a game is uh, like two to three people for nine months. Um, so a writer, an artist, uh, and we, we uh, subcontract a few uh, a few other people like musicians and stuff like that. And we kept the same the same structure for every game. Um, um, even a Reigns Game of Thrones. And that, that sort of simplicity in the way we, we set up things was a, actually a, a very big asset in, uh, in the, uh, making uh, this game with HBO. Uh, it was just a one-to-one one -one, uh, connection. I, I had one contact at HBO with which I worked for nine months on the text and stuff. And he, he, valid, he, he worked on every, every, every single detail of the game. But we, we were two teams of 15 people uh, talking to each other. So that, that make, made things uh, very, very smooth and uh, easy and, uh, and easy and uh, profitable. Uh, the other thing is uh, to, to be consistent. So each game uh, um, developed on the ground of the first, the first uh, IP, the first IP ranks, and is an extension on, on, uh, on each of uh, the, the, um, the thing we, we, we dis define on a uh, on, uh, game. So that, that makes uh, the, uh, the, the brand expand and uh, cross-promote. So each game is actually saying the, the, the other games. Um, the, the, um, s sorry, be consistent. Don't risk in progress. Uh, another very important point for me uh, is that none of these games uh, is just uh, the same as the previous ones at the same time. So each time we brought new things, like in Her Majesty, we brought an inventory, we brought new uh, new, new storylines. Um, in in Reigns Game of Thrones, you have a, a possibility to select a character, so you could be a queen or a king, which was not possible in the previous game. Uh, and, and you have a, a lot of uh, like very, very subtle change to, of the, to the core gameplay that is really uh, meaningful uh, because they they're, they're still uh, work with the consistency we, we established uh, previously. Um, the third and the last point is um, is um, uh, importance of finding new grounds by product by connecting your products together. So um, uh, basically, it worked li like this. So you had rings, okay, uh, and that rings um, sort of. Um, um, established uh, a first target of, of uh, players, like players who like mobile games who are able to pay for, for, their, for their game uh, and want to pay for the games. Um, people who, uh, who uh, like Devolver and uh, like the style of Devolver games and quite a, a large um, amount of people. So we define a very, very inter interesting core people uh, uh, that we tracked and we, we developed. Uh, <coughs> Then, uh, then the second, the second uh, like uh, mini uh, mini subset of uh, of uh, people we, we touched is uh, Rang uh, the Majesty, uh, through uh, notably through, through the writer of Rang the Majesty, uh, Lee Alexander, who brought uh, 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 a completely new. Uh, new and very interesting uh, way to write the cards in rings and uh, we, we had a long process to, to, to learn to do that together but in the end uh, she uh, she really brought uh, a, a new um, a new appeal to the game and really completely renew uh, the, the game uh, um, the initial game by it's not just the queen version of the games it's really going a bit further and, and this too uh, brought new um, new people uh, into our, our, our um, uh, target if you want and then finally um, 
uh, is uh, it's uh, of course uh, Reigns Game of Thrones, uh, which which really um, uh, expanded our our horizon very strongly, and um, but still is a, is a, an, a very important way to uh, to um, that it stays connected to the other games because it brought new play, new players to our previous games, and that uh, is very very consistent. And 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 uh, we we I will show you the sales we 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 made after that. Um, one thing for and that's a very, very uh, important limit limit of a big IP um, is uh, is that um, although uh, it's may, uh, it's it's a um, very defined set of people that you will touch through uh, through uh, an IP like Game of Thrones you will touch post potentially uh, all the people who are interested in the show and uh, that will be uh, will will be uh, available but but it's also limiting uh, factor because you you will only touch the people who uh, who are into the show or are in interested in the show, people who play on the phone. Uh, so, so it sort of crossed a lot of, uh, of um, um, a lot of that you you probably. Uh, um, it's very niche, but it's a very very uh, characterized and uh, and um, defined niche that that will uh, will will sell the game for for a very long time. Um, so uh, also uh, every time we, we create links between each game, so each game uh, promotes the, the other games at some point uh, of the gameplay. Um, and I will end uh, by, by just showing you uh, uh, the importance of this crush. So this, these are the sales of Reigns, so the first game uh, for the last, last two years. And uh, we, we see that, that every time we release a new, uh, a new, ver a new uh, game, uh, we we have a big big um, uh, in our cells, and they they um, that that does that's just uh, like a fraction of uh, each game's uh, cells, but but it's uh, um, it sort of uh, demonstrate this this importance of uh, creating a, um, a mesh of games that are connected together and uh, that that just uh, promote uh, your your IP. Um, so. <coughs> um, so I think, uh, as as a conclusion, um, um, it's um, uh, sustainability and productivity, especially in a premium uh, mobile game, uh, is uh, is very weak and uh, uh, hazardous. But at some at some point, you have to embrace this risk, and uh, um, and by using the label that is devolver, devolver by uh, by uh, uh, creating connection between the games, uh, we manage to to do that with Reigns. And uh, right now, we we sold uh, over 3.4 million copies of of the games. So it's not even a drop in the ocean of uh, the free-to-play market, but uh, that gives us plenty of support to make uh, new things and develop develop our IP. Uh, our, our we want it. Here we go. Thank you very much. Uh, if you have questions. Where next? I mean, obviously, you've kind of peaked uh, yeah. in terms of IP. Uh, are you going to carry on doing Reigns like games, or are you going to find uh, a new way to use that model of kind of creating a core IP and then expanding it over time. Is that kind of what you're planning? So um, our, our, our aim so far so for now is to, uh, uh, I think we set up like a, a trilogy of game that mm. works together and we, we, we don't want to create a, a range fatigue so we'll not expand uh, that setting for now uh, but we will, we, um, we're working on, on the, um, uh, free to play for mm. Reigns uh, to, to give access to, to this, uh, this game, um, which will be also connected to the other games. So that, gotcha. that will be a, a very important thing for us. Um, and after that, um, no, it's really more like um, we, we're going to renew a little bit, and that's so. Uh, the chance we got. We don't have to support that much our games. Like, it's not like a, a monetization scheme so that, that just needs a, a constant updates to, to stay alive. So we, we can just uh, uh, develop new things. Uh, like each game is already a bit of a new development uh, around the, the, the core, the core uh, uh, thing, but we, we can go a bit further and try new things, and that's, that's what we want to do. And I think it demonstrates a point, which is like, once you know how to make a system work, you've learned so much information about how that approach works. If you're not reusing it, yeah. you're wasting all that, all that knowledge. 
Uh, and I think that's something that we should all think. Of. I mean, I'm lucky as a consultant, I get to play around with lots, but I'm very aware that the more you specialise, the more effective you can be. Thank you very much. Thank you.